Hey guys, I'm Justin with americantrucks.com and today we're taking a closer look at and installing a very cool grill option from the gang over at Red Rock. This is their Baja style upper grill replacement with or without the emblem surround available for all 21 and newer F-150s excluding you guys with the Tremor or Raptor. Now you should be checking out this grill option if you'd like to ditch that boring run of the mill factory grill in favor of something that will deliver on the surface a more off-road vibe but at the same time give you some options to go badgeless or retain the emblem and front camera on top of a very unique lighting feature up top here. So let's get into it. Now when talking features with the Red Rock Grill, two biggies come to mind. At first glance, you are getting that unique honeycomb or mesh Baja styling in place of your plain Jane factory Ford grill for your F-150. Now that alone is totally gonna change up the entire look and attitude of your truck. Now, unlike other Baja options, this one does give you the option of going either badgeless, which is basically shaving that factory Ford emblem for a cleaner look, or it does include a bracket that allows you to keep your factory blue oval emblem and more importantly, that front facing camera. Now, the last feature here I say is probably my favorite, and that is the fact that this Baja grill does incorporate a light portion at the very top of the grill. Very hard to see when it's not in action, but this is a very awesome addition because not only can you do the Raptor style amber marker lights when the parking lights are switched on, but when you fire up those headlights, you get the lightning mode. That's what I like to call it. Basically, it's going to illuminate this bar, a bright white light, uh, just like the F-150 Lightning, and that's gonna happen whenever you switch your headlights on. Now, this, by the way, is gonna flow very well with the factory running lights in your headlights, if you still have those, or most aftermarket lights still are incorporating some sort of uh, white uh, running light with the factory or aftermarket headlights. So again, really, really big fan of the light portion. You're getting a Raptor mode, you're getting a lightning mode, in addition to the very cool Baja styling. Now, speaking of the grill, let's touch on construction a little bit more, guys. And again, you are gonna find the grill does utilize the OEM Ford CAD data to help produce something that's gonna fit like a factory part. And spoiler alert, it does. Uh, the grill has also been constructed from a durable ABS plastic, given a satin or matte black finish here, uh, which I think looks great as is right out of the box. But Red Rock does point out that if you ever wanted to paint match a portion or the entire grill, you totally have that option. You just have to handle that on your own. Finally, guys, the grill does include everything needed for the installation, including a plug and play harness for that light bar up top that we talked about already. And that's going to eliminate the need for any additional wiring. Moving into our pricing segment here, guys, for the Baja grill, you're gonna look at that mid to high $300 range, which honestly is right on average with other similar grills in the category that do incorporate some sort of LED lighting. Personally, I think this grill and all of the features it is packing is certainly worth the price of admission to separate it from some of the others in the category. But as always, guys, my spiel to you here is gonna be check out the rest of our selection for the 21 and newer trucks. Get a better sense of some of your options, some of the budget that those options will land in, and just kind of give you a better sense of what's a good fit for you and your truck. Switching gears, let's get into the installation segment of today's video, guys. And again, you're looking at a pretty straightforward job. I will say that plug and play harness from Red Rock certainly is gonna make things a lot easier for you at the end of the day. Overall, site's still gonna call this a strong one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter, maybe a couple of hours or so to complete from start to finish. Now I'm gonna throw it out to my boys out in the shop for our detailed walkthrough and tool breakdown. Check it out. Tools required for this install include a ratchet, a clip remover tool, Phillips head screwdriver, a pair of diagonal cutters, an extension, and seven, eight, and 10 millimeter sockets. What's up guys? Today we're installing a front grill on our F-150, so let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is come down to our wheel well and remove the two screws that are holding in our lower trim. So I've got a seven millimeter socket to pop these out. And then we'll do that same thing on the other side. Now with our screws on both sides removed, we can pop out the corners of our lower trim to fully remove it. I've already got the other side popped out, so now we can get this side up.
Next we can remove all of the push clips that are holding in our radiator cover. So I've got a clip remover tool to pop these out. And we can grab our radiator cover and pop that out of place. Next, we can disconnect these three connectors up top. And then we'll remove our four upper grill bolts. We've got a 10 millimeter socket to take these out. Next, we can come to the lower corner of our grill and remove this eight millimeter bolt. We've got an eight millimeter socket to remove that. And then we'll do that same thing on the other side. Next, we can pull straight back to remove our grill. Now with our grill removed, we're gonna have to take apart a few things in our grill to transfer over to our new one. So we're gonna start with this lower cover. We've got a bunch of push clips holding it in. Some of ours are missing, so you might have a few more on yours. So now I've got a clip remover tool to get behind these clips and pop them out. Next, we can come to the center of our grill and remove this eight millimeter screw. Next, we can remove the two nuts on either side. Now our studs clips are broken, so they're spinning. So I'm gonna grab a clip remover tool to pry up on the bottom while I take this off with a 10 millimeter socket. Now I'm gonna do the same thing for this other one. Grab my clip tool, get that under, put some pressure on, and use a 10 millimeter socket to get that off. And then you can do that same thing on the other side. Next we can remove these five push clips along the top of our grill with a clip remover tool. Next, we can disconnect these three clips at the bottom that are holding in our shutter assembly. I've got a clip remover tool handy, so we can push in on these clips and pop them out of place. And now with everything holding our shutter assembly in place removed, we can pull up and remove our assembly. Next, we can remove these three nuts that are holding in our emblem. 
about 10 millimeter socket to pop these out. up on our grill and slide out our emblem. Now the last thing we need to remove is our two studs per side. Now these have little tabs that you need to pinch together to pull out, however ours are broken so ours can just slide right out. And then you'll do that same thing on the other side. So now we're ready to begin assembling our new grill. The first thing we're going to do is mount our emblem bracket. So we'll center this up in our grill. and drop that into place. And then we can flip our grill over and get our Phillips head screws and washers installed into the backside. So now we can take our Phillips head screw with our flat washer and thread them into our holes. So I've got Phillips head screwdriver, tighten these down. Now next, since we have this washer reservoir on the back of our emblem, we're gonna have to cut out a portion of our grill so that this can fit. If you don't have that reservoir, you can skip this step. So I'm gonna grab a pair of diagonal cutters. I'm gonna cut out these two right here. So now we're ready to install our emblem. To give us a little more clearance, I'm gonna disconnect this connector here. And then we can slide in our emblem from underneath. And then our connector that we removed is gonna to have to go up through the top. So I'm gonna put it in through here. And then we can connect that. Next we can reinstall our nuts onto our logo studs. and then we'll take a 10 millimeter socket and tighten these down. And now with our three nuts installed, we can take a 10 millimeter socket to tighten these down. Next, we can install our studs back into these cutouts. Now, as mentioned before, our clips are broken, so yours will snap into place. 
Next we can install our shutter assembly. Now an important thing to keep in mind is this connector and this line need to go through this hole in the top. And our connector for our DRL strip, we're gonna run out of this top corner. Now once you have your studs lined up in your holes on both sides, you can press this down to activate our clips. Next we can reinstall our five push clips at the top of our grill. Next we can reinstall our two nuts onto our studs on each side. And then we'll take our 10 millimeter socket to tighten these down. And then you'll do that same thing on the other side. Next we can reinstall our lower cover. We'll line up our push clips and pop them in. Now before we install our new grill, we're gonna have to pop out our passenger side headlight to get power for our DRL. We have a harness here. We have the connector that's gonna to go to our grill, as well as a splitter connector for one of the connectors on the back of the headlight. So I'm gonna start at the bottom on the inside corner here with this eight millimeter bolt. So I've got an eight millimeter socket to get our first bolt out. Next we can come to the outside corner. We have a 10 millimeter bolt, as well as a 10 millimeter nut. So I've got a 10 millimeter socket to pop these off. Now coming up top, we have two 10 millimeter bolts and a push clip. So I've got a clip remover tool to get our clip. And then we'll switch to the 10 millimeter socket for our two bolts. Now with all of our hardware removed, we can pop our light out of place. We're gonna disconnect this connector on the back and install our splitter. Now I'm gonna run that out by our washer fluid. pop our headlight back into place, and now I'm just gonna throw our push clip back up top just to hold it in. Now we can reinstall our two bolts up top. And tighten those down with our 10 millimeter socket. Next we can come down to our outside corner and reinstall our bolt, as well as our nut. And 
then we'll tighten those both down with our 10 millimeter socket. And then we'll come to our inside corner and reinstall our last bolt. And take an eight millimeter socket to tighten that down. So now we're ready to line up and slide our new grill into place. Next we can plug all of our connectors back in. We'll put our push clip down into its slot. And then we can connect the connector for our DRLs and tuck that down into place. Next, we can reinstall our four upper grill bolts. and then take a 10 millimeter socket to tighten them down. Next we can reinstall our radiator cover and our push clips. Now we can come to the bottom corner of our grill and reinstall our bolt. And then we'll take an eight millimeter socket to tighten that down. And then you can do that same thing on the other side. Next we can reinstall our lower trim. Next, we can come back to our wheel well and reinstall our two screws. And then we'll take our seven millimeter socket to tighten these down. And then you can do that same thing on the other side. So that'll wrap up this review and install of the Red Rock Baja style upper replacement grill with LED light bar and emblem surround for your 2021 and newer F-150, excluding Raptor and Tremor. Thank you for watching and for all things F-150, keep it right here at americantrucks.com.